Hey guys, welcome back, it's Lauren, and today we're going to do the long-awaited inventory numbers, and I am really excited because I have been waiting for this video the whole entire year, so I'm, I'm just so excited. So I did things a little bit differently this year. So at the beginning of 2020, I just went through my collection and was just like handwriting, you know, what I thought I had in every, you know, category. And I have 25 categories. And then I have like four bonus categories, but we'll get to that at the end. So then I was like, oh, but I couldn't remember when I used something up. I was like, I can't remember if I ended up putting that in the lip balm category or the bullet lipstick because it was like a tinted lip, you know, stuff like that. So I ended up like halfway through the year going through and literally writing every single item that I have in my collection on my computer. And I have my computer here if I keep looking over here. So yeah, so I ended up, some of the numbers were a little bit off, mostly just in the lip category, but you know, we'll get to there, or I'll talk about that when I get to there. Like I said, I have 25 categories. I went down in 11 and I stayed the same and I think two or three, yeah, three. So not terrible. So I am gonna move over a little bit and I'm gonna try to insert better pictures than I did last year. All right, so for primers, for the beginning of 2020, we start off with 48 primers. Yeah. So primers is, is like one of those categories I absolutely love. So I, I wasn't like, I was surprised, but not too surprised. But we ended up uh, ending up with 42. So my number only went down six and I think I ended up using like double that amount or like 15 primers. But you know, of course you get a lot of primers in boxes and stuff like that. So my numbers, you know, creep back up. So that's why I did cancel my FabFitFun so I can at least get a little bit less. So I still have Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but you just get so much products. So it's hard to, you know, use of everything. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep both of them or not. But anyways, so six primers down, we're getting somewhere. I think I want to finish like I think it was like 10 or 12 primers this year. So hopefully we will get that done. So I love trying new primers, but ideally the main primers that I want in my collection in like the long run, like five years from now type of thing, uh, my Becca Backlight Priming Filter and my Tatcha The Silk Canvas. Those are probably my two favorite ones. And I really like the Benefit Hydrating like Professional one too. So out of for like pore filling ones, but yeah, those are probably the, you know, ones that I would definitely want to have in my collection. Next is eye primers. I started off with seven and now I have five, so that's good. I think I went through three primers last year and I got one in an Ipsy, so that makes sense. So, I mean, I know I always want to have one glitter glue and one, like, regular eyeshadow primer. So, ideally, get that down to about two or so. Concealers, I start off with ten and I have nine. Uh, I know I finished off, I think like four last year, but I got some in some boxy charms. I think for concealers, I know, I think I want to have about three because I really want to repurchase my It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Breakout one so I can have a one for like my breakouts. And then I want to have one that's like my skin tone color and then one that is more of like, you know, for the under eyes. So, you know, maybe we get there in another two years or so. <laughs> Correctors, I started with three and now I have four. I am using the Huda, the Overachiever concealer right now. And that one's so full coverage, I don't need a corrector underneath it. So I have like half of a Becca one corrector used up. So as soon as I can finish that concealer, then I can start using that one again. And my goal is to get that down by one this year. Okay, so for foundation. So if you watched my makeup empties, which I'll go ahead and list it up here. I went through a lot of foundations and yet I bought a lot of foundations. So I start off with 68 and now I have 67. It's still down. So I know for foundations, I'm not going to get that down to like a reasonable number. I think I would probably wanna have like 10, 15, you know, foundations, just cause I like to try new ones all the time. But I think my goal is to finish like five this year. So we'll see, it's not gonna help me much. 
uh, powders. I had 18 and I still have 18. So I did use up, I think like five like powders last year though. So I think my goal this year is to finish like four. So, you know, we'll see. Good thing is powders don't really go bad fast. So, you know, there's that. Um, setting sprays. Oh, I did bad in this category. So I start off with 13 and I have 22. Mm. So I ended up moving a few of my, in my like extra categories, I have facial sprays and I ended up moving some of those facial sprays to setting sprays because I use them for both ways. So I went ahead and just counted those for, you know, makeup, but I bought... So anytime Morphe has a sale or like Ulta has a sale on the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I always pick up at least two because it's like buy one, get one free, buy one, get one half off, something like that. Well, I ended up picking up four this year. And then they had a like the mini like orange sweet peach mist or whatever and for half off. So I ended up getting like a total of five. So that jumped my numbers up. And then of course getting some in BoxyCharm, Ipsy, things like that. So that that wasn't great, but you know, I I think I can get through at least like seven of those. So, you know, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get there soon. Bronzers. It's not great. I went I had 26. And now I have 29. Uh I just love trying new bronzers. And I'm starting I'm starting to kind of trail down where I don't have to try like a bronzer from every single, you know, brand now. So I think I'm like kind of paring down and I think I can finish. I did finish one bronzer last year or well, technically it was two and I frankened it into like one, but I'm going to hopefully, I think I might be able to get one bronzer done this year. We'll see. Cause I don't have a lot that I think I only have one bronzer that has pan on it. And well, I just hit painted another one, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to paint that for the whole year. Blushes. Oh, I did good on blushes. I did. I did declutter a couple blushes this year, or well, I say this year. I mean last year, 2020. So I start off with 39, and I finished with 37. So there we go. Um, my goal is to finish at least one blush this year, if not two. But I'm pretty sure just one because blushes so hard to you know do but I just love blush blush is one of my favorite I mean as you can see blush is like one of my favorite you know that and lip products I feel like are I say that for everything I mean foundation primers you know but like for colored products blush blush is it all right highlights we did not do good in I started off with 33 and now I have 37 but I am hopefully going to finish off at least one single and then I'm going to finish off one in a palette. So that doesn't really count, but you know, still moving out some. And then liquid highlighters. So I would like to totally get rid of this category eventually. I did good though. I start off with eight and I have six now. So the way that I use liquid highlighters is I like to mix them in with my like primers that are not like they don't have any illuminating property to them. So I think most of the primers that I'm planning to pan this year do have some type of shimmer or glow to them. So I don't think I'm going to get to this category this year. If so, it's just going to be one, but you know, we'll see. Face palettes. Ugh. I have a weakness for face palettes and I don't even really use them that much. Yeah. I started off with 53 and now I have 66. Ew. It's not good. We're getting to the not so good categories. Uh, yeah, I just, um, I did, I didn't do good on that one. No. I will show you like an, uh, like I'll have the pictures on here of like just the, I'm not going to lay out every single palette, but no, I'm going to finish one, if not two face palettes this year. So I have like two face palettes that were like half used up. So I ended up mixing them into like my body bronzer. So I have this like huge ass, big, like giant bronzer. It's the size of my face. Um, and I finished what was in here. And so I pressed those into here. So as soon as I finished this, which 
it usually takes me at least like nine or ten months to a year to finish um this full one i use it as a body bronzer so anytime i'm looking a little pale and i want to you know bronze up my chest and stuff this is this is what i use okay here's probably one of the worst categories uh eyeshadow palettes i start off with 90. i have 111. yeah i went a little overboard in this category i went up by 21. But I have since decluttered like five of them. So we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to show you what my most of my palettes are in my uh, containers or in my Alex stores because that's, like I said, it's too much to lay out. My goal for eyeshadow palettes is to get under 100 this year. I know that's a lot still, but, you know, we're going to try to get under 100 because that's just freaking ridiculous okay. where are we we are eyeshadow singles so eyeshadow singles don't really bother me that much because i don't usually use like single single shadows like i usually have like depotted ones or ones that can fit in a magnetic palette and as long as and i just have like two z palettes so as long as i don't go over my two z palettes then i'm fine with you know the number that i have i started off with 51 and i have 63 right now I mean, as long as they fit in those, then that's fine by me. I'm still debating if I want to just count those two Z palettes as just like regular palettes and then just count this as like my single potted ones. I don't know. But then I feel good if I finish one and the number goes down. But then again, I never finish eyeshadows. So there's that. Okay, cream slash stick shadows i have absolutely no idea where i got my numbers for last year it says i had 51 and i have now i have 30. no idea where i counted the number i must have counted some of my eyeliners as and i know my eyeliners went up so i think some of them i switched around because some of them are like big chubby pencils that are technically eyeliners, but I use them more as like a, sh like a shadow stick. So um, for eyeliners, I start off with 39 and now I have 40. So I know like some of those moved around, but 51 cream slash stick eyeshadows, I have no idea where that went. I you know I think I finished three last year, but so I don't know where the other like 21 went. <laughs> um I, the eyeliners I think I used up like oh, five six but I don't know all right next is mascaras and this was another really bad category because I started off with 36 and now I have 46 who needs 46 mascaras I don't know um because where I went wrong <laughs> wrong is I ended up getting I was placing an Ulta order and they had this free gift of like a mascara bundle and it had like eight different mini mascaras. And then I always get some in some of my boxes, but I used up like 15 or so mascaras last year. Uh, let's see, mascara primers. I started off with three, now I have two. I really only need one of these. So I, I mean, no, I will finish one this year. So that's, I'm fine in this category. Brow products, um, now I put all of my like brow pencils and powders, which I only have like one or, I think I only have two brow powders. So most of those are pencils. I start off with 20 and I finished with 18. So we still went down. I will hopefully get like four or five of these done this year. We'll see. I know I will finish two. I'm using two right now. And those are, I'm having to use both of them because one of them is a little light. One of them's like a little dark. So I'm using like the light one in the front and then the darker one in the tail. So I know those will probably get done in the next like month, month or two, probably two months. So, um, and then I'll yeah, so I think I get like four or five of those done this year. And then brow gels, I start off with eight and I ended with nine. And that's because my dis I was doing good. I was on track. And for like, I think BoxyCharm, no, Ipsy, 
got a brow gel in there in December. So I was like, oh, you just like ruined my numbers. Because I tried to at least minimum stay even on my categories. So yeah, obviously that didn't work out. I really only need a clear one, a one that's like my color. And then I want a lighter one for when I accident, like almost like a blonde one for when I accidentally go overhand with my brows, I can tame them down a little bit. So I, I would like to get that down to three, but I think I can only get like, I think I can get two or three of them done this year. So let's see, lip liner slash crayons. I started off with 23 and I finished with 20. I know I used two up. And then I'm not sure about the other one. I know I can finish two, at least two this year. So my goal will hopefully be three. I wanna try to push myself. Okay, so this is where I know I missed some of my bullet lipsticks because I start off with 29 and it says I have 39 now. So I know, because I'm pretty sure I used like a good like five or so, uh, this past year so I don't know where that number came from I know I did buy some but I mean maybe I did who knows so ideally I'd like to get that down to like 20 or so um I think I think my goal is to finish four this year so we will see and then liquid lipsticks I did so good on liquid lipsticks this year and yet my numbers stayed the exact same Okay, so this is my biggest category of everything I have and ended with 143. Let's all take a moment of silence for that. <laughs> no one needs 143 liquid lipsticks, but I think my goal will be to finish at least like three or four this year. So we will see. I know I can get two done and i think i have already decluttered one so that should that that will definitely help lip glosses i did so good in this category and i am not a lip gloss person i am a matte lipstick person because i don't know i feel like my lips are already big enough i don't need anything else shiny to make them bigger and i don't like my hair to get stuck in my lipstick so I I just always usually do a matte finish or a matte liquid lipstick. So I, I did good for this because what I was doing is trying to, instead of putting chapstick on in my like car, my way home from work or putting chapstick on at work, I ended up putting lip gloss on. So I put clear lip gloss on underneath my mask because it stayed on a little bit better. It's a little sticky, mask kind of stuck to it sometimes, but I mean, it kind of stuck to it if you have chapstick on too. So that at least was a little sticky so that it stayed on a little longer. And then instead of the chapstick in the car, I started using some of my more colored lip glosses. So that definitely helped out. So we started with 20 and we ended with 13. Yes, I am so, so extremely proud of myself for this one. So yay, yay me. I think my goal will be to get like three or four done this year. So we will see. Ideally, I would really only want like one lip gloss and just like a clear or like a something with some sparkle in it. I really don't need a lot of lip gloss. And because I know as soon as we, or if we do get to the point where we don't have to wear a mask, then I'm not gonna wear lip gloss anymore because I don't want my hair to get stuck in it. So I'm trying to use them up as I can right now. And then lip balms, I was doing so good. And then I got, like, I know, like, Ipsy, I got two lip balms or two lip masks in, like, one box. Plus, I think BoxyCharm gave me one. So I was like, you're throwing off my numbers here. So I started off with 16. I ended with 16, even though I used, like, I think two or three. <sighs> oh, well. And I know my numbers have gone up by then. So, yeah. We will, we will see. I know my numbers didn't go down as much this year because I was using more lip glosses. So there's that. Okay, so let's talk whole numbers. So I originally had, if you watched my inventory numbers last year, of course I said they're a little bit different. So I have adjusted 
I have the same goal, but I have adjusted it by how many products I accidentally left out. So my goal was to get under $8.99. And we did that. We ended up with $8.95. So yay, so excited. I mean, we started off with $8.55. So, you know, we still didn't do great. It still went up by 40, but that's just mainly because my numbers were not always, they're not very accurate. I, I missed some things, I counted some things twice, you know, whatever. So I have already done really good for this year, just in the month of January. So I'm excited to see this year exactly how much I can get down be, with like my numbers ac actually being accurate. So that should be very exciting for next year. Um, so my new goal will be 850. So 895 to 850. Now I usually end up using over a hundred makeup products a year. So I think I used up like 130 something last year, 134. And then I think I used like 148 the year before, but you gotta count in the ones that you get as well. So it ends up being where your numbers don't go down as much as you think. But I am trying to go on a low buy this year. January didn't go so great because I did end up doing an accidental TJ Maxx haul. Go in for dog stuff, end up with makeup products, so. Anyways, um, so, you know, January wasn't that great, but, you know, we are going to do much better for the rest of the year. So hopefully we can get these numbers down. Okay, and then for some extra categories, um, I have facial sprays and, like, perfumes. So for facial sprays, I start off with 13, and I ended up with 7. So go me, ended up using up some of those. And then I have perfume samples. I started off with 76 and I finished with 55. Yeah. So really good on that one. I mean, ideally for, I, I only, I would like to have like five or 10 of these just so I can have them scattered in places. Like I always like to have like one or two in my purse and I always have to have like new ones cycling in just to like try new you know scents and then I always like to have um I keep some in my like travel bag for like when I'm going out of town with my toiletries and stuff like that so I know I want to keep those in there and then oh for facial sprays ideally maybe like two three uh I know I want to have one in my bathroom and one in my purse at all times so there's that and then probably one, one in my beauty room. Okay, mini perfumes. These are all the ones that are like those tiny cute little bottles that you, I just like want to love and collect. Um, I started off, I didn't do good in this one. I started off with 19, I ended up 22. You know, it is what it is. They're just so cute and adorable. I want to collect them all. And then perfumes, I used up one. But we still went from 27 to 30. But I count the any type of roller balls and purse sprays in this category as well. Just because it makes my numbers easier to, you know, calculate and everything. So if you add those into the original, we started off with a 990 and we ended with 1009. It's not, it's not great. Um, so ideally I would like that category to be under 950. So we want all the makeup to be under 850 and with the perfumes and stuff, we want all of that to be under 950 or, you know, those numbers or below. So we will see. Don't know, um, if I'm going to get any perfumes done this year, I might get one done, but I'm just love, love, love going from different perfumes to perfumes to perfumes. I don't like wearing the same scent like two days in a row. So yeah, we like to jump around. I did also do an inventory for my skincare. Um, if you want to see that, definitely let me know because I, 
again, just went through the numbers. I didn't write them down, but I don't have those scattered around everywhere like my makeup is. Uh, so those are like in one place. So I don't think I need to, you know, categorize them. I don't know. I might on a whim go through one day and be like, let me write down every single one of them. But, you know, very interesting to see how many, especially moisturizers that I have. I absolutely love inventory videos. I love seeing the numbers. I'm a numbers person. I like to like see things broken down and everything. I'm like one of those people that I will look at my spreadsheet like every single day, pretty much every single day or like twice a day, just because I like to see where I'm at with my numbers. And I get so excited when I can mark something off and write it down. And I just, I just love everything about that. So if you did one of these, definitely let me know down below because I definitely want to check it out. And I don't know if I want to do like a midway check-in or just another end of the year. Let me know what you guys think. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.